I'm Lenny Brennan, and I hold a CC Wynn Endowed Chair for Quail Research at uh, Cesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Uh, one of the things that we started on when I came here about eight, nine years ago was trying to get a handle on the predator context, if you will, of the, uh, the different animals that eat uh, quail eggs in, in their nests when they're breeding during the summertime. It's a topic that's been of keen, keen interest to quail hunters and managers for many, many, many years uh, with the idea that uh, perhaps managing or reducing uh, nest predator numbers may result in an increased productivity of, of quail numbers by doing that. But before we get into any of that kind of uh, thing, we need to have an idea of what's going on out there with the predators in general. And so we had the good luck of uh, having access to some new technology, if you will, uh, technology that allowed us to record predator events at nests uh, during night time when the vast majority of these uh, predation events occur. We did it by using radio telemetry first with part of the South Texas Quail Research Project and we um, used these radio marked birds to follow them uh, to their nests. They're mostly hens and when we found a, a hen that was nesting, uh, Mike Rader, my grad student, would uh, set up a uh, infrared video camera. So what Mike did was uh, over the course of about three years videotaped uh, around a hundred quail nests and we recorded a number of events that gave us a pretty good picture of what uh, is going on out there with respect to the different animals, uh, mostly mammals, that are preying on bobwhite quail in South Texas. Uh, the one on this screen here is uh, a coyote. Uh, you can see him nosing around in the grass uh, and, and uh, basically eating uh, one quail egg after another as he pulls it out of the nest. Val Lehman in his book back in the early 80s uh, noted that badgers were a fairly serious quail uh, predator in South Texas. Here you can see two of them hunting uh, and, and going after a quail nest here. Uh, one of the interesting things about badgers is that all of the footage we recorded of them uh, had uh, pairs of them hunting quail nests, which uh, was quite remarkable. We don't know what's going on socially with those animals, but they definitely like to hunt in pairs, at least down here in the summertime. Once you notice uh, what their, their burrows or, or dens look like, then you'll uh, realize that they're a fairly common animal down here and, and actually may be somewhat of a keystone uh, species in that they disturb soil, they um, you know, will set back plant succession around the areas of their, their dens or burrows. And I'm sure that after they move out and abandon those burrows that they become home for lots of other uh, ground dwelling wildlife. So, and as much as they're a, uh, a quail nest predator, they're also a key part of the ecosystem, this part of the world. Okay, what you're gonna see here is a bobcat uh, coming into the frame to uh, to basically clean out a quail nest. Uh, you can see it walked in from the left side of the screen to the right and uh, the animal's digging down into the nest bowl and and uh, you can see the hind quarters of the, the cat there in the center of the frame. Well you can see after they're done uh, cleaning out the eggs in the quail nest then uh, the cat spends a good bit of time cleaning himself up and and sort of licking their chops after a meal of uh, fresh Bob White omelet, I guess, so to speak. Everything out there, it seems, uh, is interested in getting their teeth around a quail egg, and, and the reason is pretty clear, it's protein. Each egg is about an ounce, and a clutch of eggs is about 12 or 15, so you've got uh, a, a good package, if you will, of very nutritious uh, uh, food there in one place. And so when an animal finds it, they've hit the jackpot. The other reason is that in these uh, environments, protein is very limiting, and uh, it's a very limiting nutrient. So by finding that food resource, these animals uh, you know, gain a bit of a nutritional advantage. The other thing, a part of it, is uh, calcium from the eggshell is another limiting nutrient in uh, rangeland systems. And so the eggshells are a, a big plus, if you will, for, for these animals. So we got a lot of questions about feral hogs, but in videotaping over 100 quail nests, we never had an incident 
of uh, a nest being disturbed by a feral hog. Um, I think that it's something that probably could happen other places, but uh, where this work was done, uh, feral hogs were fairly abundant, if you will, and, and commonly hunted. So um, whether it was luck of the draw or, or what, I'm not quite sure. Another question we get is roadrunners, and a lot of people think that roadrunners may be an important quail nest predator, but uh, so far we don't really have the evidence to back that up. Uh, again, in videotaping over a hundred nests, Mike never saw one incident of a roadrunner uh, preying upon quail eggs.